Okay, so I'm a Celebrity has been on for the past couple of days. I've seen loads of your comments and DMs about wanting to discuss it. And it looks like today has been a very controversial episode with both Nella Rose, a YouTuber, and Fred, who both got into a bit of an argument. And it's gone absolutely viral. And Nella Rose is facing some fierce backlash. With an attitude and said, you know I could be your dad, right? You know I could be your dad, right? To me... I don't care how you said it. To me, that's disrespectful. Hey guys, it's Murad Murad. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, what are you doing, guys? Click that button. It is 24-7 fresh content, daily and consistent. Subscribe, inject it, send a super thanks, thumbs up, comment down below, and let's get into this and not waste any time. Now, I really want people to listen attentively to this video and what I'm going to say and discuss because I can understand why Nella Rose took that reaction that she had with Fred, I can understand and gauge what was going on there. We're gonna discuss this in a deeper psychological level and break down this episode of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Now, I don't only review I'm a Celeb, I don't actually watch the show. I feel like it's before much of an older generation and it's just not my interest. So I firmly believe, you know, that I just don't wanna review the show. I wanna be very honest with you guys. I don't, I don't watch it. Um, but I have watched this particular scenario between Fred and Ella Rose, and of course, you know, it went quite toxic and negative, and Ella Rose is facing a lot of backlash. Now, for those of you that don't know what's happened, last night, Nella and Fred obviously were by the campfire and were discussing stuff and having a conversation and Fred would just mention, you know, I'm old enough to be your dad. It's a statement, it's a saying, it's a phrase, what people say in the UK to imply, you know, age disparity and imply that I'm older than you. And, you know, he's 51, she's 26, my age, and he's 51. Yeah, but I'm not 26 anymore, am I? I could be your dad. Pardon? I could be your dad. No, my dad was way older than you. Yeah, but I could... So, you know, basically saying, I'm honored to be your dad. And she, he said it twice or three times. Now, Nella Rose took this very personally because both her father and mother passed away. Recently, her father, I believe, a couple of years ago as well. So, therefore, she's going to be hypersensitive to what is being said. The next morning, there was a very, you know, negative conversation. She didn't want to speak to him. She was quite, you know, rude to him as well. Quite negative to him and saying that, you know, just go away from me. I don't want to have your food, etc. What you did was rude. You know, you tried to disrespect me, etc. I'm not going to have that. That's basically what she was saying. Everybody's turned against her. It, literally overnight. The significant amount of backlash that I've seen for her is wild. And I'm not here for it. When she was facing significant backlash the first time in 2020, I was very much there to defend her. And I'll be here to defend her as well. Because I can understand why she is doing what she's doing. Now, this is not an excuse for her behavior. This is an explanation. And what people do is they like to pretend and tie into an excuse, an explanation. They think that it's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Nobody's excusing her behavior, nor am I doing so. I am explaining it. There's a difference. Now, what she's gone through is very traumatic. I myself have gone through a lot of significantly trauma-related situations. And therefore, when you, when you are a traumatized child and you are very traumatized in these positions, you end up being hypersensitive to people's comments around you and but sometimes become conflict avoidant. You don't want to have these conversations, you develop a conflict avoidant personality, you read situations wrong, you're incredibly sensitive to them, you take it and perceive, the word is perceive, you perceive it in an entire different tone and language in what that it was being given to you. With an attitude and said, you know I could be your dad, right? You know I could be your dad, right? To me, I don't care how you said it, to me that's disrespectful. Nella Rose read the situation wrong. She was wrong in the situation, you know, and I wish that she had accepted his apology properly. I don't think that she did have. She also felt like his apology wasn't good. I felt like Fred's apology was good. You're a smiling, you don't even give a He gave me just such a shitty apology that he didn't mean he was smiling half the time. Um, she read it all completely wrong, um, and I can, I can understand why she has read it wrong. And I think that if we have not lost parents, if you have not lost your mother or father, and they currently are alive today, and you can go buck them at their house whenever you want, or go downstairs to the living room, and there they are, if you have not lost your, your parents, you will not be able to fully understand why she reacted the way that she did. Now, before I, re I really want to break that down, I want to get into the backlash as well. One type of discourse that I hate that lacks so much nuance is when several other people are out there saying and tweeting, oh, I've lost my father, I've lost my mother, um, I don't react like this, I wouldn't take it like this. 
that's great for you. Maybe you've resolved your trauma. Maybe you are healing. Maybe you are in therapy. Maybe you've had those conversations. Maybe you are dealing with your trauma in, in entire different ways that is not related to verbal conflict. Maybe you are tackling your trauma through different mediums, drugs or alcohol, etc., which result to you not reacting the same way that Nella did. Just because people have gone through similar trauma does not mean that they are going to react the same way. It doesn't work like that. Whether it's sexual abuse, whether it's losing your mother, losing your father, being in a car accident, whatever that is so significantly traumatic to you, you are going to react differently. Our brains are very complex. Our history, our DNA is all different. So how can you expect that we should all act the same? So miss me with that nuance because there is no nuance. Miss me with that discourse. It's tiring, it's pathetic, and I'm so over it. I wanna make that very clear as well. I personally am showing grace to her and hopefully some viewers do show grace to her and be like, you know what? The girl lost her mother and father She's in, you know, she's a very young girl. 26 is still young to deal with the stuff. And we're seeing somebody in a reality TV show day in, day out. And you really, really, really realize what people go through behind scenes. And clearly she has not resolved a lot of the trauma that she's gone through, much like a lot of us don't. We're growing up, we figure things out. Now, it's unfortunate because I think Fred is a good guy. I think Fred actually wants to get to know her. And I think that Fred's apology was absolutely genuine. She unfortunately just read the entire situation wrong. And hopefully she will end up realizing that. Now, I can understand the explanation of trauma and why it makes you behave in a certain way, but it doesn't excuse it. So hopefully at the same time, she can understand that, you know, I've gone through X, Y, Z, but it shouldn't make me lash out X, Y, Z, and therefore I need to apologize because he didn't mean it in that way and I read it wrong. Hopefully she'll come to that terms in her own terms, but I wish that people would show her grace. She knows she is an orphan. She doesn't have her parents. And I think that people should just you know, be patient. And, you know, as we can see, Fred is being patient. He didn't need to apologize there, to be honest with you, but he did. It shows that he's a good guy. A man in his 40s, 50s, you know, like him, he's being graceful to this young girl who's lost both her parents. And I'm glad that he's in that position because other people wouldn't be as patient with somebody like Nella and would therefore, it would turn into a big uh, you know, argument. So I think that she's perceiving it wrong, especially with the line that she said, you disrespected me once, I'm not gonna let you do it again. Now, if you want to take it to the nth degree and not speak to me anymore, it's your choice, it's you your only prerogative. You to disrespect me. Okay. I accept your- Now, Fred did not disrespect her, but clearly people in her life have disrespected her, and I feel like she's carrying that pain with her that is unresolved, which is very normal for us to do as human beings, especially those who of us who've been significantly traumatized. She's been homeless, I've been homeless. I have that empathy for her, because I can understand that tenacity and level of strength that you need as a young child growing up and getting older. It's very difficult, guys, and you will end up having un unresolved traumatic, problematic behaviors that you exemplify. Um, and the key to life as you get older is to be aware of them and tackle them and owning them. And that's what we all need to do. None of us are perfect. So I am showing grace to her because I feel like the backlash that she's getting is absolutely insane and wild. I think that it's riddled in so much misogynoir as well because because the word beast is used 24 seven to describe her. And I think it's absolutely insane. They're calling it a see you next Tuesday, calling an absolute beast, saying that, you know, she doesn't need any of the food to win. She was already got it stored up in her body. The fat phobia is leaking into it as well. But there's a lot of this misogynoir and backlash and it seems that everybody's turned against her. And because of the spat that she had with Fred, which she has read the situation wrong, Everybody's acting like she's the biggest villain in the absolute world, turned against her with an absolute 30 seconds. And I think that the abuse is unwarranted, is wrong and absolutely insane and undeserving. It's insane. <laughs> and I'm not even her friend. I don't know Nella. We've met a couple of times. She's been very nice to me. I've been nice to her. That's really it. So it's, it, it's insane. Anybody with a common sense can see that she doesn't deserve this misogynoir, vile abuse that's coming her way and the way that everybody's just turned on her. And I feel like if we as creators don't speak up and raise awareness about this. If us, if not us, then who? Because I don't understand because the majority of the discourse and all of these apps are everybody is dragging her left, right and center and she's facing fierce amount of backlash. Now I'm filming this, free Palestine, I'm filming this at 1 a.m. So this is probably just me, I don't even give a damn about timetable. I'm, I'm just gonna throw, throw, throw the video up. So you guys will just watch it when you watch it. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to continue to review I'm a Celeb. I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with what I'm saying, but I think that people who have gone through intense trauma, like me, like her, like whatever, and you're growing older, you read situations so wrong, and you read that as a reality, because you are so riddled in the trauma that you have gone through that is so significant. And it's absolutely insane to decipher what is real and what's not. You take it so negatively, and you end up being so defensive, you're in the defense mode, and it's so hard to solve that trauma and work through it. 
and you know, we can clearly see that somebody in Ella Rose has not worked through all of her trauma in that way. And I feel like this is where it's coming from. And hopefully Fred realizes that and understands that. And with patience and with time, they will end up, you know, resolving it and she will understand that she read it wrong. Hopefully she takes ownership of that as time goes on, but I'm giving her grace to un and patience. And hopefully, I feel like Fred is as well. And he's the main person to give her grace. I feel like everybody online, Fear 500 Twitter, Brexit will Brexit Twitter, especially are coming down on her. And I, th I don't know how I'm a Celeb works. I think they vote you out of the public. I don't know how it works. So I would imagine that they might vote her out next. You know, if this is the way it's going. We have Nigel Farage in the damn building chart, but everybody's acting like Nana Rose is the biggest villain. I will never understand. It does not make any sense. Now, if I have to re review this foolish show every single day to defend her, then that's what I might have to do, child, because I think people are not showing enough grace. I'm not saying that this girl, you know, is not wrong in how she read the situation. She is wrong how she read it and her behavior was unnecessary with responding in xyz i agree she read it wrong she gauged it wrong but i think that we need to show grace to somebody who's dealing with significant amount of trauma that does not end after six months child it stays with you for life and i think people don't understand that because a lot of people have privilege they have their parents they have a roof they've never been homeless they've never been abused they've never been in xyz so they don't get it and if you have not been x through xyz you will never understand so i think that this misogynoir racism fat phobia that is leaking and being dashed on her is un is wild and i have to, i had i had to just raise that point this review is a bit all over the place so my apologies if it's if it comes across quite scattered because i feel like it's scattered in my mind because it's really just triggering me at this point but I can see why she reacted the way that she did. I'm not, ex I'm not I'm excusing it, I'm explaining it. And I think that, you know, we need to show grace to people who've been through a significant amount of trauma, especially young boys and girls and people in their mid twenties and etc. It doesn't excuse her for being rude to him and hopefully in time she will just apologize for it. But let's just be graceful to one another. Like, can we not just be graceful to each other? Like, I don't understand. Like, we only have one life to live, for goodness sake. Do you understand? Like, <laughs> let's be graceful to orphans. Let's be graceful to those who don't have their mothers and fathers around them to teach them and help them. And, you know, it just, it, I just find it to be absolutely insane and unnecessary. Don't know if anybody's gonna watch this video because I don't ever review I'm a Celeb anyway, so I doubt anybody's gonna watch this. I probably will get like a thousand views max, but it is what it is and I wanted to just raise awareness. Um, and it's just, I don't know whether you guys agree or disagree. You might comment down below, but she's getting it, child. People are angry. They are like, I ain't never seen like this. <laughs> They're very angry online about what's going on. And I think that we need to show grace to people who've gone through significant levels of trauma and we don't. And it's so annoying because I don't like this whole cancellation system or I'm, I'm more of a or throw in the prison type system or your, your see you next Tuesday, F you system. It's all about rehabilitation, can't even the word, rehabilitation. Child, that point was gonna land so nicely. I'm all about rehab. I'm all about bringing people into you know places where you can help them and bring them back into society. I don't like this. I don't like this whole language that we deal in society these days. I just think that what she's getting is unfair. It's unnecessary. It's OTT, and people need to relax. And she was doing the most when it comes to the next morning with Fred. She was being rude to him, and hopefully she can just apologize as time goes on because she just read it wrong. Anyways, let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. So subscribe to the channel. Click that button for daily and consistent content. I'm hungry. Um, subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.